Hello friends, welcome you all to another video and today we are going to start with the new story which was written by John Steinbeck. The name of this story is the Christathanam and without wasting any further time, let's get started. Now I am reading the uh, this text. I am also going to give you explanation. So the high grey planar flock of winter clothes of the Salinas Valley from the sky and from all the rest of the world. On every side it sat like a lead on the mountain and made of the great valley a closed spot. On the board, level land, flower the gang, falls, beat deep and left the black river. At yellow stubble fields seemed to be bars in pale gold sunshine, but there was no sunshine in the valley now in December. The thick willow scrub along the river flamed with the sharp and positive yellow leaves. So this story is set on the Salinas Valley near the Salinas city. There was a, uh, you know, that the countryside where uh, there was one uh, river, okay. And uh, beside that, there are some farms and there are some uh, houses. The farmhouses was also there. And it was the month of December and therefore it was actually the fog is there. It was a time of wheat and of wedding. The air was cold and tender. A light wind blew up from the southwest so that the farmers were mildly hopeful of a good rain before long. But fog and rain did not go together. So there was a fog and therefore people are waiting for the rain. And you know that the fog and rain could not come together. Across the rear on Henry Helen's foothill ranch, there was little work to be done. So that was the ranch, foot, uh, foot uh, hill ranch was there. And across the river, there was his farm. And for the hay was cut and stored and the orchard were plowed up to receive the rain deeply when it should camp. The cattle on the higher slopes were becoming straggy and rough cattle. So Henry Helen is the... Uh, Harry and Ren is the main protagonist and Eliza, uh, his wife is the main protagonist of this story. There are only three to four characters and uh, it is a story about the Eliza and Henry Allen. So he was a farmer there. Okay. Uh, Eliza Allen, working in a flower garden, looked down across the yard and saw Henry, her husband, talking to men in busy suits. The three of them stood by the tractor shed, each man with one foot on the side of the little for son. They smoked cigarettes and studied the machine as they talked. Okay, so they were talking about uh, the tractor machine and there were three men and they were talking with the uh, her father, Eliza. Eliza watched them for a moment and then went back to her work. She worked them and then she started her work. She was 35 years old. Her face was lean and strong and her eyes were as clean as water. Her figure looked blocked and heavy in her gardening costume. A man's black hat pulled low down over her eyes. Cold hopper shoes, a figure friend dress almost completely covered by a big corded apron with four big pockets to hold the snakes. So she has a fig uh, apron who has a... Uh, uh, for pockets, uh, the travel and the scratcher, all the uh, all the materials which uh, we need to do in the park, the sheets and the knife she worked with. Uh, she wore heavy leather gloves to protect her hands while she worked. She was cutting down the old year's uh, kirchisanam stalks with a pair of short and powerful scissors. She looked down toward the men by the tractor shade now and then. Her face was eager and mature and handsome. Even her work with the scissors was over eager or powerful. The kirchisanam stem seemed too small and easy for her energy. Okay. So, it was uh, actually the description of her work that how she was very interesting, how she was just 35 years old and she was uh, actually beautiful, okay. And she has a great energy and she was just doing with the Kirsasanam seeds as the stems, okay. Uh, she brushed a, a, a cloud of air out of her eyes with the black back of glaive and left a smug of earth on her cheek in doing so. So, there was some... Uh, hair fall on her eyes and she uh, got it back and she got some smug of uh, mud on her face. Behind her stood the neat white farmhouse. Okay. So there was a neat white farmhouse with red uh, geraniums clothes blanked around it as high as the windows. It was a hard swept looking little house with hard polished windows and a clean mud mat on the front steps. So the, this is the description of their house. Eliza cast another glance toward the tractor shade. The strangers were getting into their Ford calf. She took off a glove and put her strong fingers down into the forest of new green lockdown among the close growing thames. No heft were there, no snow bugs and snails and cutworms. 
are tearing tear your finger destroy such pets before they could get started so it was talking about the smaller pets or smaller is insects eliza started at the fear as the sound of her husband's house wise uh, he had come near quietly and he leaned over the wire fence that protected her flower garden from the cattle and dogs and chickens okay so actually her flower garden was protected by some uh, in that the, that uh, uh, protection of that wires and uh, uh, her husband came there and he talked like that at it again he said you have got a strong new crop coming he said that again the new strong crop is coming eliza straightened her back and pulled on the gardening glow again yes they will be strong this coming year in her tone and on her face there was a little smugness you have got a gift with things henry observed some of this yellow chrysanthemum you had this year were 10 inches across i wish you had worked out in the orchard and raised some apples that big so he just praised her that uh, whatever she was doing in her garden actually the chrysanthemums uh, uh, trees are growing very longer so he wished that she should also work in the orchard so the she will grow uh, bigger apples her eyes sharpened maybe i could do it too i have gift with things all right my mother had it she could stick anything in the ground and make it grow she said it was having planters hand that knew how to do it so she told her husband that actually she got the gift from her mother and her mother used to say that uh, it depend on the hands of the planter it is a skill so whatever they will uh, took into the earth and it will grow well it sure works with flower she said henry who were those men who were talking to then uh, he said that yes it is the, with the flower it is true and then she asked the, who are these men why sure that is what i came to tell you they were from the western meat company i sold those 30 head of three years old steers got near my own price too he said that they came from the meat company and they wanted uh, 30 uh, cattle okay for the land so good she said good for you and i thought he continued i thought how it is saturday afternoon and we might go into salinas for dinner at a restaurant and then to picture show to celebrate you see and he said that uh, uh, after the afternoon they will go to the salinas for dinner and then they will also show the movie titles okay she said good oh yes that will be good and he put on his jockey stone uh, there is a fight tonight how do you like to go to the fights and he asked her that there is a fight of men so whether she is interested so they can go there but she said no 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 i wouldn't like fights just fooling eliza we will go to the movie let's see it is to now i'm going to take uh, scotty and bring down those steers from the hill uh, it will take us maybe two hours we will go in town and about five and have a dinner at the communal's hotel like that okay so communal's hotel they are going to go there at at a five o'clock of course i will like it it is good to be eat away from home he said that he he need two hours to take all the cattle there and to sold that and then he will come back after two hours and she said okay it is very good she said i will have a plenty of time transferring some of these steps i guess and she said that she has a lot of time to do with that uh, plans she heard her husband calling scotty down by the barn and a little later she saw the two men ride up the pale yellow hull side in search of the steers there was a little square sandy bed kept for rooting the chrysanthemum with her travel she turned the soil over and over and smoothed it and battered it firm then she dug 10 pair of trenches to receive the sides back at the chrysanthemum bed she pulled out the little crisp shoots trimmed off the leaves of each one with her scissors and laid it on small order repel a squeak of wheels and proud of hoofs came from the road so she was doing her work there and there was one uh, you know that uh, some vehicle was coming uh, and the sound is also coming of that a uh, vehicle that is a squeak of wheels Eliza looked up. The country road ran along the dense bank of willows and cotton woods that bordered the river, and up this road came a curious vehicle, curiously drawn. It was an old spring wagon. It was an old spring wagon, with a round canvas top on it, like the cover of Paris uh, Schooner. It was drawn by an old bay horse and a little grey and white burro. A big saddle bedden. Uh, it was a tanga gadi like that. Uh, set between the crop flops and moved the crowing team underneath the wagon between the hind he will uh, lean and wrangle mangrove dog walk steadily words were painted on the canvas in clumsy crooked letters pots pans knives scissors lawn more fixed so bhande chaku kiwa kai je asnar 
आपल्या काही खेळ करू यांना धार लावणं किंवा त्यांना व्यवस्थित करणं ओके सो दॅट वे बी फिक्स्ड ओके डेफिनेटली फिक्स बिलो द ब्लॅक पेन हॅड रन डाऊन इन लिटल शार्प पॉइंट बेन एज लेटर इट इज अटिंग ऑन द ग्राउंड वॉश टू सी क्रेझी लूज जॉइंटेड वॅगन पास बाय बट इट डिडन पास इट टर्न इन टू द फार्म रोड इन फ्रंट ऑफ अ हाऊस क्रुक्ट ओल्ड व्हील्स स्ट्रिकिंग इन क्विगलिंग द रॅगे डॉग डार्टेड फ्रॉम द बिटवीन द व्हील्स अँड अ हेड ओके सो द डॉग्स वेर केम देअर अँड दे वेर टॉकिंग अबाउट दॅट सो ऍक्च्युली द मॅन ऑन द वेल अँड ही कॉल दॅट ही टॉक अबाउट द डॉग बिकॉज हिज डॉग अँड अदर डॉग्स दे वेर स्टार्टेड फायटिंग अँड इट इज अ लाफ्ट ॲट दॅट इज मार्क दॅट द मॅन ऑन द वॅगन सीट कॉल्ड आउट दॅट दॅट इज अ बॅड डॉग इन फायट वेन ही गेट स्टार्टेड अँड इट इज अ लाफ्ट आय सी ही इज हाऊ सून डज ही जनरली गेट स्टार्टेड The man caught up her laughter and echoed it heartily. Sometimes not for weeks and weeks, he said. He climbed stiffly down over the wheel. The horse and the donkey drooped like an unwatered flower. Eliza saw that he was a very big man. Although his hair and beard were graying, he did not look old. His one black suit was wrinkled and spotted with grease. The laughter had dark and they were full of the brooding that gates in the eyes of the mister and of sailors. The collar's hands he rested on the wire fence were cracked and every crack was black line he took off his battered hat i am off my general road ma'am he said that this ditch road cut over across the river to the los angeles highway okay he wanted to go to the los angeles uh, eliza stood up and showed the thick scissor in her apron pocket well yes it does but it winds around and then folds the river i don't think you team uh, could fool through the sands he replied with the some aspirin it might surprise you Uh, what the then beast can pull through when they get started she asked he smiled for a second yes when they get started well she uh, eliza said i think you will save time if you go back to selina's road and pick up the highway there he drew a bigger finger down the chicken wire and made it sing i already in a hurry man i go from seattle to san diego and back every year takes all my time about six months each way and to follow nice weather he said that he just go to the settle to send daigo and uh, he need six month eliza took off her gloves and stepped them into the apron pocket with the scissor she touched the under edge of her man's hat searching for figured hair that is sound like a nice kind of way to live she said he leaned confidently over the fence maybe you noticed the writing on my wagon I mend pots and sharpen knives and scissors. You got any of them to do? He said that uh, he just sharpen knives and scissors. If uh, and also he fix the bent pots. But she said that oh no, she said quickly nothing like that. He, her eyes sharpen with resistor. Scissors is the worst thing. He, he explained. Most people uh, just rain uh, scissors trying to sharpen them. But I know how. I got a special tool. It is a tool, little robot kind of thing, and patented. but it showed that the trick no my scissors are well sharp she said all right then she said take a pot he continues earnestly a bent pot or a pad with a hole i can make it lit like a uh, new so you don't have to buy a new one that is saving for you no she said shortly i will tell you i have nothing like that for you to do so actually he wanted to get a job and work from her but she was rejecting that his face fell on exaggerated sadness his voice took on a, a winning undertone i don't had a thing to do today maybe i won't have to no supper tonight you see i'm off my regular road i know folks on the drive are clear from seattle to san diego they save the things for me to sharpen up because they know i do it so good and save them money and he said that he had not got any work today and if he didn't get any work he will not have a dinner that day and he said that when he was going to settle to san diego uh, there were so many people who who uh, waited for him to uh, do work from them and that will also give him money so hey guys here uh, we have completed the half of the story and tomorrow we are going to finish this story so thank you for watching see you next day